welcome to new session and in this session we will learn how to customize the free CAD interface as you can see that I have opened a part and my workbench is a part workbench now if I switch to the part design then part design tools are activated here I can simply change the position of my tools if I want at the left hand side I can place it as a left hand side if I want it as a right hand side I can place it to the right hand side and in top I can move to the any positions as per my requirement now we will see this tree views and combo views properties views and how you can use it so here is a property view if I click on my sketch I can see the properties of this sketch for visual visibility you can change the position of a property view from left to right and if you click on this blank area if you do not require the property view then you can simply uncheck it and if you want to on property view you can simply on it so this is how you can activate or deactivate any tools which, which you require and you will also have the customize options with the help of this you can customize the location of your property views or python console view or report view so it is very easy to use so now I will keep my position of a property view as default now we will come to the cube navigations so here is a part and here we get at a cube at a right hand side now if we click on here on this is small triangle we will get lots of options for the view orientation of our part isometric diametric trimetric and with the keyboard shortcut for example if you see for isometric keyboard shortcut is 0 and if I place my part on the front view or any positions if I press simply 0 button then my part comes to the isometric view so this is how you can use the keyboard shortcut and for the cube orientation front bottom left you can also use this keyboard shortcut to navigate your parts orientation for example front top right rear bottom and left and you can also use this tool to see your part in a wireframe mode like if I selected wireframe mode my part went to into the wireframe mode here and I can also switch to the hidden lines so for this hidden line background color is important so I will switch to the shading so here is, is a part with shading and flat line which is a default one so this is how you can use the different views of your parts and we can also see the keyboard shortcuts here and now we will see how we can customize the background color in a free cat so for this go to the edit and go to the preferences and go to the display and colors and here we get the two options simple color and gradient color now I am using the gradient color and if I switch to the simple color then I can set a pla plain background for my free cat so I simply select white color and say apply so my background turned into the white but the problem is that if I go to the sketch if my background is white and if I draw any sketch here so my sketch is not visible because my line color is white and my background color is also white so for this I have to change the sketch color if I change my background color so for this I, I have to go in uh, edit preferences and go to the sketch and go for the color and here edge option I will select any dark color and I will say ok now if I go to the sketch and sketch anything for example rectangle 
so this will come in a blue color which I have a set so you have to uh, check the sketcher color setting once you change your background color setting now we will see how we can use the dark theme in FreeCAD so for this my background color is white so I will again switch to the default gradient color and then we will see the dark theme so I will go to the color and I will move to the gradient color so dark theme is very useful especially if you are working in a night it puts less stress on your eyes so go to the edit and then go to the preferences and here you will get the default installed pro dark theme pack so just click on apply so once you apply the dark theme will get applied the best thing about the dark theme is that you do not have to modify the sketcher color setting if I if I create any sketch in a pro dark theme for example if I select this plane if I create a rectangle so you can see that sketch color is white because I'm using pro dark theme so once you use the product theme you do not have to manually do any work as we saw the previous example once we have a change from gradient to the plane color so this is how we can move to the dark theme and if you want to change against to the your def default theme then go to the edit preferences and go to the classic colors and say apply and say ok now you can see that we have come with a default theme you can also try one more theme in FreeCAD go to the edit preferences and this extreme pro light say apply so you can see that extreme pro light theme has been applied so this is how to customize the user interface in a FreeCAD as per your requirement thank you for watching